Hello and welcome to another video on my channel. Today I want to show you how to render the background and the foreground in different render passes so we can apply some effect in the compositing on the foreground for example but not on the background. I used this technique in some of my videos for example the Star Trek the cloak effect. I used a alpha over node to composite my decloaking bird of prey before my video in the background. In this setup it was very easy. You go to render properties down to film and activate the option transparent and you render only your foreground object, apply your effects and use the alpha over to put them over your video. In this scene we have back and foreground in one scene. So when I activate transparent, the background disappears. So my first idea was go to viewer layer properties and activate the environment pass. And when I go to the compositing tab and we got this environment output here. So I use uh, alpha overnote, go to color alpha overnote and plug the environment in the first input of the alpha over the image in the second and render it once again. So and when I animated this factor here, the ship disappears, but there is this ugly complete black silhouette and I wanted the stars in the background to continue and blend in the ship slowly. Okay, this version does not work. I found a solution to this problem. Go to your outliner and click on your scene collection and add a new collection, name it background. And deactivate it for the view layer. Click on this icon here, add new view layer and click on new, name it background. and activate your collection with your scene objects. Move your render layer node down a little bit, duplicate it and set it to background. And now you see that our environment path disappears. So we have to go to view layer properties and activate it for the background render layer. And now we can plug it into the first input of our alpha over node. And the image goes into the second node and we can render it once again. And now when we reduce the factor, we can see the stars behind the model. And now you can start working on your images you can animate this factor here to blend the ship in slowly and you can add a distort node, for example, a lens distortion to animate this dispersion value, for example, to get a few distortion in your image. Notice that the distortion only works on the object in our foreground and if you want, you can plug in the lens distortion after the alpha over and it works on the entire scene. This technique works in Cycles and Eevee and that's all for this video and see you in the next one.